Hi guys. So I've just bought a domain name called uh, dissectcode.com where I'm planning to uh, take uh, some popular open source projects and uh, look at their internals and try to explain and uh, explain how the internals work and try to uh, show things which we can learn from them. So uh, for this, I've, uh, I've bought a domain called dissectcode.com and um, I was just trying to set up a website where I can just post videos and uh, get comments from, from you guys. So uh, this, is, this is me setting up the website and I just wanted to share even this. So uh, let me, all right, so uh, before we start, I'm going to use a blogging engine called Hexo, and I've, I've done this many times. And uh, I, I use uh, Hexo to to blog on minhajuddin.com, which is my blog, and I'm going to use the same to uh, to share these videos. So uh, let me set up a new website using Hexo. So the way you do it is you say Hexo new uh, dissectcode.com. And uh, that's that's not it. Hexo in it, the dissectcode.com. So as soon as I do that, the first thing I do uh, always is uh, set up a new Git repository um, and uh, make the first commit, right? And uh, and uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, create my first post. So uh all right uh before that uh we need to change a few things so i'm gonna open up my editor go to the config yaml and uh, change the site title actually let's let's fire up the website before this so i'm gonna open up a new terminal uh hexo server and uh, so yeah you need to do npm install hexo save so anyway uh, while that is running, I'm going to change a few things. Uh, change this to dissect code and don't need a subtitle. Set the author name, right? And a few things your URL, right? Uh, dissectcode.com. So that's that. And actually, I have, I have a configured this for my blog i just want to compare it real quick with this so i'm gonna close this and uh, open up wimdiff config yaml sites and config yaml and uh, you don't need single quotes there and uh, let me set these two All right, and skip render. And uh, file name case is also important because uh, post asset folder, yes. And auto detect false because this was causing a bug uh, in the latest hexo. Uh, release so the rest looks good I'm gonna close this so let's look at our uh, npm install it went through I'm gonna start a server here and uh, hexo server something doesn't look good so hexo server help hexo help So hexo help. CD hexo. So hexo. Server help. Or oh, it's help server. I'm 
I think I may have uh, this running, uh, I may have something else running on that port. So specify config file. Let's see, um, bin config, is there a port? So hexo start on a different port. So let's see, minus p, right? So that's that's what it is. Hexo server minus p five thousand. Something strong. So the only things have changed are the package and. Uh, So hexo build all right so let me take a look at that so immediate All right, so what I'm going to do here is um, uh, make a commit, right? Uh, update package and uh, I'm going to check out the previous version, right? The first version, try to run hexo here. So hexo server. So I'm thinking something may have went wrong in our npm modules so i'm gonna remove that and uh, npm install that's gonna take some time anyway so once that's done uh i would have to uh, create a new file and and uh, uh, create a new blog post to post a video and uh, while that's running i'm gonna uh, create a, a repository on github so i'm gonna go to github.com and uh, and uh, create a new repository right and call it uh, what's the name uh, dissect code.com right and uh, let me just create this repository here and uh, run those two commands so what I'm planning to do is uh, I've, I've built a, a, a continuous integration server uh, for static sites and I want to use that for this exo server all right, so yeah, something was wrong with uh, my NPM modules. I'm not sure what that was, but uh, here's the website. It's it's running fine, right? So I'm gonna shut off that and uh, if we take a look at the diff, uh, hexo is 3.2.0 and uh, i'm gonna add that and uh, i'm gonna take the config and update that right and i'm gonna see if this uh, all right so uh commit uh, npm install and uh, config update right so what I'm going to do is uh, um, reset the master and uh, merge into the temp branch and uh, 
make a false push because I just want to overwrite the, the actual uh, master. So anyway, we now have a Git repository and uh, we don't have any posts. Uh, let me see. There is a hello world post and uh, uh, I've actually created a video which shows uh, uh, which 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 covers uh, something called dot env and actually I'm, I'm, I'm not going to create that post right now so all I want to do is 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 publish this website so that it shows up on uh, dissectcode.com okay so I have a working uh, repository and uh, from here onwards what I'm going to do is use my static site generator so uh, full disclosure, uh, I've built the static site, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry, I've, I've built the continuous integration server for this, and uh, it's 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 not a free product. It has a free plan, but it's not, uh, it even has paid plans. So, fair warning. Uh, now, what I, what, what, what uh, uh, I have to do to set up this website is go to the continuous integration site, this is my product and uh, I'm going to click on new site and uh, select uh, XO because that's the static site generator I'm going to use summer host which is an internal host uh, it also supports uh, github pages and amazon s3 but I'm going to use summer host because this comes with uh, free SSL which I want to use uh, for, for my blog so click next and uh, uh, title is dissect code and I'm going to set up the domain to dissectcode.com and uh, just going to use that as the subdomain too and the uh, URL of this repository is is this right, so I'm just going to copy that paste it here and click on create site and uh, that should create the website and uh, start a build and uh, so it's it started importing the git repository and now it's actually building the website so this is going to take uh, uh, a couple of minutes uh, for the first run but after that this this is very quick anyway so once this is done i should be able to uh, visit my website uh, on dissectcode.com and see my blog posts uh, uh, one one final thing w which which uh, I have to do is uh, make sure that dissectcode.com points to uh, website.zamu.in uh, so that the DNS entry is set up properly so I've actually done that already so it, it, it should be all set so I can just click on dissectcode.com and there's my website on dissectcode.com, right? So this is awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna change this post, uh, but uh, uh, before I do that, let me do another neat thing. So if you see, it says SSL is inactive, and I can go to SSL settings and activate SSL, uh, just like that. And uh, and uh, my you know this this new blog should be on a on, on uh, HTTPS uh, in a couple of minutes right so that's that and uh, finally what I want to do is um, uh, change the hello world post right so um, so source hello world right so I'm gonna remove this uh, crud and uh, uh, hello world right yeah very original anyway hello world um, this is going to be a blog this is a blog where I'm gonna post videos uh, of me dissecting code from popular uh, open source projects so that's that hope it right so another uh, the objective 
of these videos is gonna be um, uh, is to understand uh, how things work and to learn useful patterns uh, from these projects so that's nice and uh, let me close this make a commit here add it uh, so uh, git commit added uh, hello world yeah not updated hello world and uh, push this git push so this is going to push my uh, uh, updated blog post to github and uh, what the product i built does is it, it listens for new pushes for new commits and as soon as there is a new commit it builds the whole website and it publishes it to your uh, to 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 github pages or to amazon s3 or in in this case to zamo host which is an in, internal host so as soon as this is done in in a couple of seconds your website should be updated with this new or updated blog post so let's let's go ahead and check our check our blog and uh, if I go there, and there is our updated blog post, awesome. And uh, as you see, it is on SSL, so that's another neat win. So that's it for this uh, uh, this uh, this video, guys. Uh, hope you find it helpful, and uh, I hope you find uh, Zamu useful. And uh, um, I'd, I'd love for you guys to give it a try and uh, give me uh, uh if, if you have any feedback please send it over i really appreciate any kind of feedback it really helps me build a useful product so that's it that's it for this episode guys uh have a good day uh bye